You're about to witness something you've never witnessed before. <laughs> Welcome to the drum show. I'm sitting here with my boy Brian Fraser Moore. What's up, man? What's up, bro? How you doing? Good. Good, man. Uh, he's on tour with Janet Jackson here in Boston and uh, giving a little bit of his time to do the interview. Absolutely. So, uh, give me, uh, tell me what's uh, your equipment like? Uh, let's see. On this one, I'm using basic uh, five piece. I have uh, uh, 10, 12, 15, 14. And by 10, 10 by 6, oh, okay. 12 by 6, oh, nice. 15 by 13, 14 by 12. Nice. And what kind of drums? Uh, uh, Fabinga. Oh, okay. Fabinga, Star Classic. Nice. Yeah. Nice. And uh, what kind of symbols are you using? I'm using uh, Evolution, 18 Evolution, 17 Legacies, uh, Ozone Splashes, Ozone Crashes. Oh, okay. Okay. Just keep it simple. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Make lots of noise. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Cool, cool, cool. And yep. uh, for your sticks? Uh, my my model, my okay. data. Yep. Brian Fraser Moore. Nice model. man. Yeah. Nice. That's cool. Using my snare also. Uh oh! Look out now. Brian Fraser Moore snare. Zeke has like twelve of them. So. <laughs> <laughs> um. So who are some of uh, your influences growing up? Uh, growing up, let's see. Uh, definitely Vinny Calyuda. Okay. Uh, Dave Wackle like, being from church. Those are like. The two dudes that we heard about a lot. Okay. You know, um, uh, Lil John Roberts okay. was like my main influence okay. in the city, like hands on. Okay. So like, he'd be like one of your like top threes? Absolutely. Okay. Absolutely versatile. Like, this guy's amazing. Okay. Shout out to John. Man. Cool, man. Cool. So, how'd you get started playing the drums? Uh, started in church. Okay. The little guy. Well, <laughs> mom and dad, maybe. Oh, okay. Gotcha, gotcha. <laughs> the beat up sticks and okay. all that. But, um, um, being in Philadelphia, I was still close to the music circuit. Okay. So, uh, uh, Jazz and Jeff for the Fresh Prince yep, yep. was like my first venture out. Get know? out of here, yeah, really? Man. Like, wow. Band shows with them around Philly. Or, yeah. Your parents customers. just don't understand. Yeah, right. <laughs> my, my parents didn't understand it. <laughs> but yeah, that was that's what kind of kicked it off. Wow, man, that's really cool. Hey, learn something new every day, man. So, uh, when uh, when in Boston, like the music scene in Boston is really big, and um, so such a musical town. How do you think uh, the drummers coming out of Boston? Are like is it like really well influenced? You know, I think I think uh, the drummers in Boston, man, these guys have a um, a positive but negative, if, if I can say, okay, a positive but negative surrounding because we all know that uh, Berklee College of Music, mm -hmm. one of the most prestigious music schools in America, is here, and these guys have so much knowledge and right. so much. Uh, reading charts, being able to mix music, being able to do whatever you want to do at a school like this, but it's still kind of East Coast, mm -hmm. which sometimes means less opportunities than Los Angeles right. or something like that. So then you have all of this talent in the city, but it's sometimes it becomes frustrating talent because the guys don't really have the outlets that they're looking for right. to for their expertise, you know. So. I, I love the drummers here, man. Like you know, definitely Charles Haynes. Mm -hmm. Give a shout out to him. I love I love the way he plays. I love the way he does his thing. But I would like to see Charles some more. Yeah, you know yeah, what yeah. I'm saying? I no, would, definitely. I would like to see more of the cats around the city get out and experience to to what their educational knowledge is, which mm -hmm. is an amazing thing. But going to a music school, you always need that outlet, right? right. Most definitely. Most definitely for sure. I think I think Boston is definitely one of the most talented cities as far as musicians are concerned. And he's in Boston. I am with a Phillies hat on. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. So uh, I know your resume is real long, you know, and like you said, you got started with uh, DJ Jazzy Jeff and the Fresh Pants, and you're on tour now with Janet. You know, who are some of the other people that you've played with and possibly in the future? Um, well, I play. Uh, I had the opportunity to play with Aaliyah before she wow. passed. Rest in peace. But she was an amazing individual, and we had such a great time. Jamie Wine on the same tour, mm -hmm. we would play with Aaliyah. 
go backstage, change their clothes, come right back out. With wow, my double mind. duty. Yeah, absolutely. Wow. And um, let's see, Usher was an amazing gig as well. Um, Christina, I've been with her since the uh, first record, the Junior About record. Mm -hmm. um, let's see, uh, Janet, all for you. Mm -hmm. um, I had an opportunity to musical direct Lake Nubians. Wow. Glenn Lewis. Um, let's see. Wow. I don't know, man. But it, it's been a blessing mm -hmm. to be able, you know, us as musicians, um, sometimes we can take our sound and enforce it upon whoever we're working with. Right. But the great thing about working with all of these artists is they have their own sound. Right. So then instead of enforcing my sound on them, I actually learn more right. by diving into their music. This is a distinct difference from Usher than there is a Janet Jackson. Right. And you have to be in both of them. So right. um, I definitely encourage people to sometimes just take an ear to the music that you're playing in. And mm -hmm. You might learn something new, you never know. Yeah, definitely. Great advice, man. Absolutely. Um, so uh, what's after Janet? Like, uh, are you um, going back on the road afterwards? Or? I, got a, I got a couple of things growing up, and um, I'm, I'm praying to God that it works out. But for me, man, I'm, I'm just going to the top until I can actually reach that point of playing with Mr. Sting. <laughs> I will not stop or rest until there you go. I get that opportunity. There so, you go. Who knows, man? God has been good, and, and I'm not a jerk, so hopefully people will want Yeah, he's pretty cool. He's a pretty cool guy. <laughs> I'm, I'm sitting here, you know, so he must be a cool guy. He must be a cool guy. So, uh, any advice for uh, upcoming drummers? Yes. Okay. Yes. <laughs> um, first of all, uh, let's not forget, off the gate, where we got this gift from. Mm -hmm. Main point, number one, it's not anything of us, it's not anything that we can hype ourselves up to believe that we have made this. Okay. Like God has given each and every one of us a talent, mm -hmm. and we have to keep that in perspective in order to grow. Yep. Number one, off the gate. Dive into your music, be authentic to the sound. Don't be scared to go to the next level. It is scary, <laughs> but don't be scared. Stay true, stay open, you know, because as much as we're doing, we're encouraging about another 50 to 100 people that we don't see right. behind the scenes. So, you know, stay open, answer questions, um, be sociable, like, you know, just more uh, more about not playing the drums and more about who you are as a person, you know, I definitely encourage you, you know, and stay, stay on the read tops. Uh oh, look out. Yeah, actually, it, it will come back to get you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, uh, I had I had a chance to fill in for Teddy Campbell mm -hmm. on an American Idol week, a finale week, okay. and um, he was sick. And so, you know, he, he trusted me enough, which shout out to Teddy for trusting me on. And that right there, you got to give this guy props, man. Because stepping into that, the way those guys read music and go through those charts, 600 charts, wow. 750 charts, stuff like that, they just zip through it, man. I was super, super nervous. Yeah. Super nervous. Yeah. Because it's been what well, maybe over ten years that I had to do the chart, you know, like that, and um, so I, I, I did it. But it also made me realize, you know, this next man over here that's doing this job that people may want to congratulate him for, people may want to tear him down for, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? This, and, but you gotta give respect where it's due. This yeah, guy does TV show at the TV show. No Jay Leno, yep. American Eye, everything, and you know, it's very important. It, it didn't used to, it seemed like it wasn't important, but now that we're all growing as a community, yeah. we have to take on that and make our, our, our art whole, you know what I'm saying? Not That's just fine. say, I'm just a funk drummer. Right. Just say that you're be a drummer. Versa, be, yeah. yeah, be versatile. Absolutely. You know, just don't stand, don't, be, don't pigeonhole yourself. Yeah. And, sure. and you say I'm a funk drummer, and then you say I never get any work. Not that many funk gigs. <laughs> exactly right. No kidding. No kidding. All right. So uh, 
downtime. What does Brian Fraser Moore do? Yeah. I've, I've heard a few rumors. I've seen a few videos. You know, you're my boy. I love you dearly. But you know what? I, I gotta confess. You know, I actually do it too. Do you? And uh, at home, I'm actually the cook. That's what I'm talking uh, about, y'all. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Don't so be, it's just, yeah, don't, don't. Don't be scared, y'all. Yeah, don't, don't be scared. Because, <laughs> you know, cooking, that's where it's at. That is. That's where it's at. That, that opens up a whole world. Oh, yeah. You know, you learn how to treat your lady right. Hey. You know, you learn how to cook uh, uh, good things for your body mm -hmm. and things like that. And so I have a friend who cooks as well. <laughs> so all you that want to give me problems. There you go. I have a friend that cooks as well. There you go. Yeah. Drummers yeah. Unite. We're going to be Absolutely. like, you know, we're going to do like a, a website. Drumming Cooking. Drum Cooking. There you go. See? The yeah. pot's around. You see where we're going? That's right. The spaghettis. Things. Yep. So, I yep. don't know. Hey. That's what's <laughs> up. <laughs> I like to cook. I like to cook. Uh, I take cooking classes on my downtime. Mm -hmm. I like to go to theater. I like to go to theater. I, I go to see Porgy and Bess. I oh, go nice. to see... Uh, what was the play that Fantasia was in? I forget. Uh, um, I can't Super remember off the top. Oh, uh, is that Color, Color Purple? Purple? Color Purple. I want to see Color Purple, and I like. I just like to stay well rounded, man. You know, you know how it is when you're yeah. on the road. It's just music and everything. Yeah. To do with just music. Just want to sometimes just get away. Yeah. Watch yeah. Woody Woodpecker or something. That's right. Something. Exactly. Anything. Chilling. Yeah. So I like to. I like to do that. I'm pretty open, you know. Cool. Not too boring. Nah. You're all right. I'm all right. <laughs> all right. This is the drum show. My name is Zeke Martin. It's Brian Fraser Moore. If you have not heard of this cat, go check him out. Brian Fraser Moore. He's killing. Oh God. Thank you, brother. Thank you, man. Anytime. Philadelphia. <laughs> Thank you.